Hey everyone, so today I'm going to try again to make some homemade ice cream for you. It's no churn, you don't need an ice cream maker, you just need some whipped cream and sweetened condensed milk, and then whatever add-ins or mix-ins that you want to use. So fingers crossed it works this time, otherwise we're going to end up making some other cookies with whatever butter ends up coming out of this. So follow along and I hope you enjoy. So my first step to making this ice cream is getting my cream ready. Now because I want to make Earl Grey, I'm going to steep this overnight in the fridge. Do not heat your cream. I heated my cream to try to steep my tea and that's what denatured the proteins in the cream, which pretty much just means I messed it up and it would not whip. So I'm putting my cold cream into my mixing bowl and I'm just going to strain out some of this Earl Grey now, tea. The reason I'm doing this is because all of that flavor has already been steeped into the cream, but I don't want the texture of the tea leaves when I'm eating the ice cream. I did leave about half because you won't notice them if they're only in there a little bit, but if you have an abundance of tea in your ice cream, you will have that texture of the tea leaves in your mouth, which is what we're trying to avoid. Once you've strained through all your tea, I actually just push those tea leaves against the sieve just to make sure I'm steeping out any last flavor that's in there and getting out any of the liquid that's left in the tea leaves. So once that's ready, I'm going to put it in the mixer, put it on slow at first, and then as it gets stiffer, I'm going to keep increasing the speed. So first to medium and then to high. Once you've achieved stiff peaks, your cream is ready. In a separate bowl, I'm going to pour my sweetened condensed milk as well as some vanilla. This is where you would add any other flavors that you want to incorporate, maybe purees or anything like that. Slowly going to start to fold in your whipped cream little by little. You don't want to do this all at once because we want to lighten the sweetened condensed milk and keep the entire mixture fluffy toward the end. Once everything is combined, you can add it to a freezer safe container. Now, because I'm making Earl Grey salted caramel, I'm adding a little bit of my ice cream mixture and then some of our salted caramel that we made a few weeks ago. And I'm just gonna layer that in and swirl it in with a toothpick. Now, if you aren't doing this, if you are gonna add chocolate chips or you're gonna add any kind of add-ins, this would be the place to do it. You wanna layer it between the ice cream so that way when it freezes, you kind of have some in every bite. Once you've finished swirling in your purees or your compotes, you can add your next layer of ice cream and continue on the same way. Now with this ice cream, it says to freeze for about six hours. I would highly recommend freezing it overnight. It doesn't taste as cold as a traditional ice cream, so you definitely wanna make sure it's frozen fully before you attempt to eat it or scoop it because it is a little soft. And once you've waited for overnight, your ice cream is ready to enjoy. Now this ice cream has so many possibilities flavor-wise. Um, just a simple vanilla with some M&Ms, chocolate chips, even some of our ganache swirled in would be delicious. And you can also swirl in fruit compotes and purees in order to make all of the flavors that you've ever dreamed of. This is the best way to do it and test them out. I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions, just let me know.